Okay, we've got oil. I'm wearing garbage bags over here. But we've got an oil leak. It's not the bottom. Okay guys, so I wanted to recap something from today. I went to a job that had an oil spill and um, it seemed like the canister under the oil filter was leaking, had sprung a leak. Well anyway, what I did is I put on a bunch of garbage bags over my feet and I walked through the uh, oil to turn off the boiler and the water heater which uh, water heater was gas. So I turned the gas valve off. So there's no pilot or anything. Well, anyway, well, we called the landlord with the customer who was a, uh, was a tenant. And we said, you know, who's gonna clean this up? You know, in addition to make the repair, we've got that underway, but who's gonna do the cleanup? And I heard the funniest answer you guys can never imagine. Cust the tenant says, not the tenant, the uh, landlord says they're gonna have the cleaning woman clean it up. So, if you guys have ever heard something so ridiculous in your life, they're gonna have the cleaning woman clean up an oil spill. Well, anyway, that's all I've gotta say for now. But, um, anyway, so, God did a bunch of combustion analysis today. Did a couple boiler service calls. Uh, gonna head out to a boiler tomorrow to skim it. Um, they replaced a couple radiators and have had knocking noises. The uh, return line looks like it has to be replaced, but first we're gonna try with a skimming. If that doesn't do it, we're gonna replace the return line since the ret if the return is clogged and it is undersized, it's gonna cause water to back up into the header and cause a lot of knocking. So. We've got a bunch of stuff going on. Don't always have time for the videos, but uh, we're gonna try to keep you guys updated. If you guys can try to get me more uh, combustion and uh, heating guys to uh, follow and follow me, that would be greatly appreciated. Have a good night.